What's up guys, Eric here with the Hall Herald. We recently got to spend some time in San Francisco at the new Microsoft Mixed Reality Academy. It was really awesome. If you guys didn't see it, go check out our latest video. While we were in San Francisco, we could not pass up the opportunities to stop by at Meta. Uh, we've been wanting to see their device for a really long time. We've been wanting to try it. And uh, we thought this was the perfect opportunity. We caught an Uber way down to their offices, uh, just dropped in unannounced. They were super nice about it. Uh, they were in the middle of moving, so if you, everything looks a little bit jumbled, that's probably why it is. But they set everything aside. They actually gave us a demo of the device. We got to try it on, and it had a fresh box there that hadn't been opened yet. So we got to open that up, and that's what you guys are about to watch. It's one of the only videos of the unboxing on YouTube, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are excited about the meta, go ahead and leave this a like and share it with your friends. All right, here we are unboxing a Meta 2. Probably one of the few videos online about it. Hello, nice to meet you. Let's get started. Metavision.com slash get started. That's nice. Nice pull tab. Let's start with this. Meta 2 headset. Proper care and cleaning is important for the best med experience. Please met metavision.com. Headset stand. Oh, it comes with a stand. That's my biggest complaint about the HoloLens is it didn't come with a stand. Two hand washable forehead support pads, two exchangeable forehead supports, Australia, New Zealand, Great Britain, Africa, American, Japan. Oh, it comes with everything you need. Oh, that's nice. All right, now th <laughs> this is awesome. It's so cool. Yeah. All right, product care notice. Awesome. Can I pull this out? Yep, of course. Oh, there we go. That is awesome. So it also comes with a microfiber pack okay. that you have in there, so you can just put it in there and then put it in your backpack. And oh, that's really special lens. That's really nice. And also the inside of the microfiber pack is uh, perfect for cleaning the lens. Oh, nice. So you don't you don't scratch it. And you'll have to carry around a separate thing for it. Yeah. That looks really nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. So walk me. Can you walk me through the I/O? We have um, sensor, sensor, camera. Yes. What's this? Um, so you have an RGB camera for um, censoring and then you have a, a camera for your point of view. Okay. So you can uh, plug this into an HDMI cable and so you can other people see what you're seeing too. Oh, okay. okay. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Now let's move around to the side. All right. It's very light, like extremely light compared to the HoloLens. Yeah, that's the beauty of it being tethered, right? You don't have to have the battery pack on Exactly. It, so. I love the look of this. This is this is beautiful. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right, we got buttons. What are our buttons for? Um, you can actually set them for yourself, but uh, one of them is set in our, in our environment that you can take a picture of what you're seeing. Uh -huh. So you can have the uh, point of view plus what you're seeing. So you can take a picture of it and then send it to a friend or what, okay. save it or whatever. Um, but you can, you know, if you, if you build an application for it, uh, then you can just define what the buttons should be doing. Okay, sweet. So I love all the leather on it. This looks very like high class. Yeah, so we did what we did with the design. Oh, yeah. Our design team, they look like like the old cameras, mm -hmm. like the real old ones, you know, the beautiful oh, ones. Oh, yes. And then that's what the design is based on. Okay. So we really cool. wanted to pay tribute to this, you know, this that's era so cool. of, of real art and high tech. And like mechanical engineering. Back yes. stuff was actually engineered rather right. than just shipped off to China. So, and you also have uh, volume up and down over here. So, okay, yes. okay, that's what I was figuring these would be. Okay, so sweet, yeah, so pro two programmable buttons, one raised, one indented a little bit, a minus, a plus, very light, nice leather, padding feels great, padding feels really great, adjustable headband, and do you have the stand? Is it inside of this? Here's a stand. All right, this is awesome. That's so cool. You have to download your own thing and 3D print this if you want something like this for the HoloLens or any other VR device right now. That yep. is beautiful. And now, if that's not a desk piece, I don't know what a desk piece is. <laughs> <laughs> Very functional desk piece. Yes. So let's see, also ports, we've got USB 3, I'm assuming for power, and HDMI. Yes. All right, beautiful. Oh, okay, there is a oh, stand. <laughs> so the stand is right here. It looks like we've got all of our different plugs. This is really nice, especially for international use. Are you shipping internationally? Yeah, of course. Okay, sweet. Second, this is really nice. So this is to accommodate for different head sizes. Mm -hmm. um, the padding, this one is a little bigger than that's what's in there. Mm -hmm. So you have three different padding sizes really helping out, out with different head sizes. Okay, so it doesn't rest on your nose. It just clamps no, to your no. head. I haven't tried it on yet. So. Yeah, it clamps to your head. 
Um, I mean, we'll give you a demo and you'll see what it, what yes. it works like. But yeah, yeah it, it sticks to your hat. Um, you'll see though, it's pretty light. Yeah, I don't think you need much to rest on your nose. Yeah. Sweet. The Verge actually said that it's one of the most comfortable headsets VR and AR ever worn. Okay, well we just tried like eight yesterday, so <laughs> let's get let's well, get through its face. Let's, let's see if they're right. <laughs> right. Okay, can I leave this here for just a yeah, moment? Yeah, just leave it there, I'll put it away. Okay, thank you so much. So one thing to note, um, you know, when you have your own so for example, so you can wear glasses within within okay. the headset. However, um, when you have your own set up your own profile, you can set up the how sharp it is. So oh, really? you might not see everything super sharp because we just set it to a general setting. Mm -hmm. In front of you, you see uh, the Meta Workspace, which yep. is like our version of you know, the, the launcher. Um, currently, we just have a couple of demo things in there, but eventually, that's where the apps will let, let you pull out. So um, if you if you look at some someone, uh, for example, pull out the middle where it says Glass Brain. Yeah, yeah, so, go, so I'm gonna stick. So. Yep, go close to that. Oh, wow. Glass Brain. That's cool. Okay. Until you see, yeah, and now close your hand, pull it out. Oh, wow. There you go. Now place it in space somewhere. Yep. And, yep, let go. And now you can get close, go closer and look at it. Oh, oh. wow. So this is an MRI of somebody actually playing a video game. And that's really how the neurons are firing uh, what, when that game happened. What resolution are these holograms? 1440 or 1080? It's 1080. 1080, okay, okay. They look really crisp. But Another thing you can do is grab it with both hands. Okay. And then you can scale, see if you can figure it out yourself. One hand, and then the other hand to it. Yep, there you go, and then I'll scale it. Okay, there that's you. incredible. And you can also move it, yep. Oh, that's, that's incredible. That's awesome. All right, let's make a big. Okay, I don't have to do that. It's, it's, oh. oh, it's good. Oh, it, it's really good. Okay, I don't have to be slow. No, yeah, checking. That's our current version of the SDK that's out there with developers, but uh, we're releasing the next version um, next week, I think. And then hand is way more dexterous than the next version. No, it's pretty good now. Yeah, it's already good, but you know, when people build, this you're using a demo, right? If you yes. build an application where, for example, an architecture application where you really build a little house, mm -hmm. it needs to be a little more precise, mm -hmm. and we acknowledge that. This is awesome. So, what do you what do you build on? Do you use Unity or? Yeah, Unity. Yeah. So, our whole SDK is all Unity based. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, if you if you already know the code Unity, you're good to go. Yeah, as you can see, big difference to the HoloLens, right? Yes. If you go a little closer to it, you see like the high resolution of the hologram. Yeah. It's really creepy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, but you can see that is not possible with onboard computing currently. That's why we decided to go tethered because then you can right. plug into the power of a graphics card that allows you to do this. Okay, so if I set that like and then I, my monitor came between me and it, does yeah. it still do the same effect that my hand does it when it's out of the way? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah, it will, it will track what, can I, can whatever's I try? in the room. So is it, so, okay, am I using spatial mapping right now? Does it have this area mapped in? Yeah, of course, Slam, OS, OS Slam is currently recognizing everything that's what's happening around you. All right, can I, I'm gonna play with it for a second. This is awesome. Yeah, now the problem is it doesn't detect your hand. Anymore. Yeah, yeah, I stuck it behind that. That makes sense. All right, should so be able to. So, and if I came down here. Oh nope. All right, Close. never mind. Close enough. No. <laughs> I, I totally understandable. No, I would. That would have like, if that would. <laughs> yeah, we do have blow in my mind. So we do have service tracking. I don't know if it's actually active in this demo, but we do have service tracking where you can actually put stuff like under your table. It makes sense, yeah. If like my, if it can register my hand, I don't see why yeah. I'd be able to register yeah. That is cool though. Okay, so does this have active uh, depth of field? So like, will things be blurry? If I put a hologram right here and I put a hologram behind it and I focus on this one, will this one get blurry? It does a little bit, but we're still improving on that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's good enough for me. Oh, I'm used to, I'm used to doing it. So, so for selecting, how do I tap Just on accept? With your finger. Oh, cool. I think I missed it. I think I missed it. Uh, you could be, you know, getting work done in your and team. Would my finger problem. just work exactly as, yes. like, tap? You can already tap. see you can scroll. If you try scroll, there's a little scroll. You just put your hand in it and scroll. Like oh, you would yeah. with the touch screen. 
sorry, say, explain it one more time. Inside the browser window, just put your hand in it and scroll. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, cool. See all the bit of That's awesome. Cool. So yeah, you can you can interact with the website in that. All right, you can put that back. Just put that. So there you go. Anyway, let let me show you one more thing. Um, what else do we have in there? Oh yeah, look at the chemical reaction. Second shelf. Second. Put yourself back into. Yep. Put yourself back into the time when you had to study chemistry and had to like figure out <laughs> how this how, how biology and how to figure out how this works. Um, wouldn't that have been so much easier to see things and actually see <laughs> and understand how they worked? Instead of picking up, um, pulling up a little two D black and white. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. Let's look at it a little bit bigger. So okay, what's my what's like my box of my hand radius? So like you can't see it now. Any anything that's in your field of view is detected. Okay, field because of view. we we figured you know you don't want to have to interact with stuff that you don't see because then you accidentally might be moving your holograms around. Uh -huh. So you say everything you whenever you see that your hands are in field of view, then you can interact with it. Okay, that is something I didn't I wanted to point out that I didn't realize. The field of view is like perfect. It's like seamless. It's it's all it's. We have ninety degree field of view. Exactly. So, so much better yes. than Holland. Yeah. Yes. I, it, well, it's another thing. They decide. They consciously made the decision with going with onboard computing. They knew they had to sacrifice. Right. It the makes field sense. Of view. And with so much glass and all the different layers, yeah. it makes more sense. It makes sense to, for them, but. Well, for us, the big thing was we did that. You know, the meta one was the field of view that HoloLens is pretty much. And we heard from the market that people said, the biggest thing for me is not being mobile. The biggest thing is having a wild field of view. Otherwise, I can't program any app that are actually meaningful. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, well, I mean, it, it's like the perfect field of view because as you look, your eyes are already onto something else by the time you've left that. And you can still see a little bit of it in your peripherals. That's awesome. That's awesome. So will we be able to do like VR style applications? If you take up both both eyes and be like a like a yeah VR style. Yeah, I mean you can do mixed reality uh -huh. application, right? Um, we currently are really more focused on really using it for augmented reality. So having data and holograms be part of the environment. Yes. If you want to do VR, then I think you should just get a VR. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. No, that's a, that's a, that's a great answer. Uh, developers, though, that um, already, for example, used our our application um, and hacked it and, and used Vive controllers with it. So instead of using your hands, you can use a Vive controller to. to oh, you can. Oh, yeah, that's if awesome. If you want, of course. Okay. I mean, well, I don't want to bash Hollands, but that's my biggest gripe is. It's not seamless to work with holograms. Like if you wanted to throw a ball, you would have to tap on the ball. Yeah. This, ma this makes so much more sense to just reach out, grab it, put it there. I mean, that's awesome. And they're trying to play catch up a little bit by adding their new MR controllers, catch up, um, to make it a little bit more seamless. But I mean, this is like the ultimate goal for, for all for all AR-based devices to make it seamless. Because it's just not intuitive. I mean, trying to teach people to tap, air tap is very difficult sometimes. We're trying to teach people how to control it. But I mean, to teach someone this, it's literally just like, hey, here's this, grab it, go back. That's incredible. So there you guys have it. That's the Meta 2. It's a really awesome device. We're super excited. We really want to get our hands on one. Uh, the people at Meta were really generous and really nice to spare us some time to let us try the device and all the hectic time that they were going through. We'd really like to thank them for giving us the opportunity to try it and to unbox it. And we'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, go ahead and tweet this video out. If, hopefully if this video gets enough buzz, uh, Meta will notice and maybe toss a device our way so we can make a lot more videos for you guys. If you guys are interested in more Meta content, leave a comment below and we'll catch you guys in the next video.